Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel and for today we are going to answer um, the question which is the best a legitimate online Korean succulent seller here in the Philippines. So um, I've already tried different seller from Lawag, from Manila, from Pampanga which are uh, the Leaflet Project, Plant Culture, uh, La Jardinera, Urban Flora, Desert Beauties, and K-Pop Saki. So, nakapag-order na ako sa mga seller nito. And today, uh, what I am going to share you guys is sino ba yung best seller na nakapag-provide sa akin ng good quality plants. Um, and sino din yung nag-ship on time and best terms of payments and best price. So, welcome to this vlog. To start off, uh, I will be unboxing um, Urban Flora's uh, package. I ordered two sedum clavatum from Urban Flora, and personally, ako, um, I've already, I think, known the owners of Urban Flora. Because when I was starting collecting Korean succulents. Ayoko kasi ng pre-order eh. Karamihan kasi ng mga nagbebenta online, ng mga legitimate online sellers, pre-order. Pero, that time kasi, gusto ko, makita ko muna yung plant and saka ko siya bibilhin. So, amongst all the sellers uh, in Manila or anywhere near Manila, si Ur Urban, sorry, si Urban Flora lang yung merong um, available on hand uh, Korean succulent. So, Biniyahe pa namin siya from Manila to Pampanga. And ayun, nakabili naman ako ng plants from them and they were good Korean succulents. Uh, but now, I ordered online naman because they are really good people. So, uh, yeah. These are my Sedum Clavatum from Urban Flora. As you can see, they are really of good quality and I'm not really surprised because um, I think as the owner said, the supplier nila from South Korea mostly are really South Koreans as they are really close from uh, South Korea community in Pampanga. So there, uh, the quality of the plant is good. Um, it, it's really beautiful. Walang masyado na lagas na leaves. And also, for its price, ha, yung size ng sedum clavatum nila for its price is good. Um, I think I bought these uh, with shipping fee. These two with shipping fee for around 1950 And I think it is really, really worth it. My second seller is Desert Beauties. Actually, I've already ordered tons of Korean succulents from Desert Beauties. And um, if you've watched my previous videos, meron akong unboxing ng maraming plants from Desert Beauties which cost me around more than 5,000 pesos. But this one uh, is only one plant. I ordered only one lawi and what I what I love from Desert Beauties is that mabilis silang mag-ship and you don't need to pay kahit pa pre-order not unless nandyan na yung plant. So magpe-pay ka lang if nandyan na yung plants mo. So yun yung kagandahan sa kanila. Hindi mo kailangan magbayad ng, in, ng advance unlike urban flora that you have to pay in advance. The next shop is K-pop Sockies. So, sa K-pop Sockies, I think, um, nung una pa lang nagsa-start yung page, nilike ko na siya. So, at first, wala akong masyadong kaagaw mag-mine sa page nila. So, I bought good Korean 
succulents from them. Pero recently, ang dami ko na yung kaagaw sa kanila. So, ayun. Unfortunately for me, I wasn't able to buy all the plants that I want. But, I was able to buy some good plants. And what I love from K-pop Sockies is that they give freebies. It's not required. It's not required for all sellers na magbigay ng freebies. But, um, hindi na ako magbabanggit ng seller. I, I ordered super daming Korean succulents from one seller and it cost me around 7 to 8,000 and um, I didn't get any freebies from them. Well, karapatan naman nila yun, if not. Pero syempre, iba din kapag you get freebies, most especially if, if you're not like a very popular YouTuber or that time I wasn't even posting on YouTube nung in-open kitong K-pop Sockies. Yet, and now, um, kahit pa hindi nga ako uh, popular YouTuber, eh, binigyan pa rin nila ako ng dalawang freebies, which is yung um, Echeveria or Echeveria Mina and the one is Zaragoza. So, I'm really thankful for K-pop socks. Yun yung kagandahan sa kanila. And also, uh, Sa kanila, mostly on hand. On hand, important Korean succulents. Um, I've, I've never seen them post uh, pre-ordered succulents. Most of the time, it's on hand. So, um, I'm not really sure. Pero, that's what I love about them. It's always on hand. Uh, in terms of the quality of plants, uh, there are good plants, um, but also there are not so good plants when you look at it. So you really have to uh, choose a good plant from them. But they're good people and I have a good experience with K-pop sakis. Next is um, La Jardinera. Uh, I think La Jardinera is based in Lawag. Um, sa kanila naman, what I love about them is kapag bumili ka ng plant sa kanila, kasama na yung shipping fee. So, wala nang additional say na 300 pesos or 200 pesos for the shipping fee from Lawag to Manila. Um, uh, sa kanila, you have to pre-order yung plants mo uh, although they don't ask for payment pa naman unless nandiyan na yung plant so that's good for them uh, pero yun nga uh, I, don't, I rarely see them do on hand sale or baka hindi na ako masyado nagtatag nag check sa page nila um uh, gusto ko yung quality ng plants nila in fairness sa quality ng plants ng La Jardinera kahit pag galing lawag yan at shinip from LDC unlike those shipped from Grab or Lalamove ang ganda pa rin ng plants pagdating sa akin uh, siguro yung downside ko lang naman dito sa La Jardinera is that um, medyo sa invoicing medyo nalilito sila kung ano ba yung mga plants na minain mo or pinareserve mo and uh, just don't forget that when you order from them, alalahanin nyo din kung ano yung mga minain nyo. Kasi minsan, there was this time na, yun nga, iba yung minain ko. And then, iba din yung invoice na sinente nila sa akin. And thankfully, I was able to screenshot yung mga plants na minain ko sa kanila. So, ayun, sinend ko ulit sa kanila kung anong klaseng plants yun. And unfortunately, meron ding mga plants amongst sa lahat ng minain ko na hindi na available sa kanila. So, konti na lang yung nabigay sa akin. But, the quality of, say, this Grinovia El Hierro is really beautiful. I love it. Our next seller is Plant Culture. And I think Plant Culture is really popular right now <laughs> to everyone because aside from korean succulents they also have their own um cns soil mix and other products as well and they are very legitimate they have a store in i'm not sure if it's in las piñas or paranaque but it's in the south um well ang only downside ko sa kanila kasi is i live in the north 
and their shop is from the south. So, yung grab, medyo expensive siya ipag, ipapagrab mo from the south to here. Parang nagbayad din ako ng LBC na same day delivery. But, what I love about Plant Culture PH is that whenever you buy Korean succulents from them, meron silang pa-free na cultured soil mix nila. And then, ang ganda din ng pagkakarap ng mga plants nila. It's basically individually packed. Maliban sa um, individually packed na siya ng towel, naka-individually packed pa siya ng brown paper bag, as you can see in the video. So, ayun. Maganda yung pagkakapack nila. And also, sa kanila, lagi silang merong on-hand na mga Korean succulents. Uh, ang maganda lang talaga sa kanila, lalo na if you're part of the um, their Facebook group is <clears throat> meron silang K-pop plant sale every Saturday. And then, ayun, for say, a price of 3 Korean succulents, meron silang binibenta. It's around 1,200 and 1,500. And that's already a bong for the bucket. Kasi if you divide the plant, the, the price into 3 plants, okay na rin siya. So, ayun, kailangan mo lang talaga magabang ng plant sale if you want cheaper Korean succulents. But, they also have on hand um, imported Korean succulents naman. And they also have their own website. So, it's not really hard to buy from them kasi they usually have on hand Korean succulents. Lalo na these days, laging fully stocked yung plant culture pH ng mga Korean succulents. Um, as Per the price and the quality of the plants, um, hindi sila, I think, as if I compare all the plants that I've bought, I think I've bought the cheapest from plant culture. And uh, for as for the quality of um, plants na natanggap ko sa kanila, eto lang pink champagne yung hindi ko nagustuhan. Which is actually, nakita ko naman siya sa photo na, actual photo naman yung pinakita sa akin. Pero, ayun, hindi ko lang medyo gusto yung itsura ng pink champagne. But I hope papaganda ko siya. Pero aside from that, well, no complaints. I love them. I love the package. I love how cheap their Korean succulents are. Lalo na yung mga cream tea and lawi nila. Sobrang ganda ng mga cream tea and lawi nila. And I really do appreciate the free CNS soil mix. Last is the leaflet project. Uh, the leaflet project naman, what I commend from them is that super ganda ng packaging nila. I mean, yes, plant culture has their own box, kahit pa within Manila na sila, but the leaflet project, my effort talaga. Uh, there's a conscious effort para pagandahin yung box nila, even yung, pag, yung tape mismo nung box. It's like a craft, how do you call that? A craft uh, tape? I don't know, but their box is really beautiful. And as you can see in this um, short unboxing, uh, pag open mo ng box, meron pang mga thank you, Kemi. Ganun. Tapos, nakakatawa kasi when you check their uh, website ngayon, bago din ulit yung box nila, mas pinaganda pa nila and pinaimprove pa nila. And, ayan, maganda din yung pagkakapack nila sa tissue. And, eto pa ha, um, besides sa K-pop sockies na may name yung freebie ng plants. Ang maganda kay Leaflet Project, if you're not really familiar with the name of the plant that you've already bought or you are buying, merong name yung plant. So, it's not really confusing na kailangan mo pang balikan sa website and check it. So, ayun. Thumbs up kay the Leaflet Project. Okay, so, so sobrang bilis kong magsalta because this is just a really short video, video but to sum it all up, amongst all these buyers, uh, I'm just going to um, like score everyone yung in totality na in terms of price, in terms of plant quality, um, in terms of shipping, and in terms of packaging. And in terms of freebies, sige. Um, I think the best amongst all these sellers is Plant Culture PH. Kahit pa um, taga South sila and it cost me around 300, 200 para sa shipping via Grab, same day delivery. Um, I love how they packed my plants and the fact that they gave me yung um, additional na free soil mix 
and lalo na sa price super sulit ng price sa kanila lalo na if you're, if you're just starting with Korean succulents and lalo na din, lalong lalo na ngayon sa panahon ngayon ng pandemya um, medyo nagtitipid ka but at the same time your hobby is your hobby and you love plants you love plants so ayun makakatipid ka talaga kay plant culture and if if you're not planning on magtipid din or if we're not talking about just the price but also the packaging and everything uh, I'd go for the leaflet project uh, hindi naman masyado malaki yung price difference nila but yung the leaflet project very on time din kasi yung um, delivery niya siguro dahil kasi nasa Manila ako so I'm, talk I'm speaking in behalf of people that's coming from Manila uh, ayun so it's the plant culture for me if I'm going to order another batch of Korean succulents, it will be from the plant culture and the leaflet project. Um, aside from the price, I love the plant quality. Their plant quality. Yung pinapadla ng plants. Hindi lang basta-basta. Because I've experienced once, uh, I wouldn't name the, the seller, pero yun nga, I bought around worth 7 to 9,000 worth of plants. Tapos, unfortunately, pag-unbox ko, hindi na maganda yung quality ng plants. Um, lalo na isipin mo, taga Manila lang naman siya, so via grab lang, tapos ganun pa yung quality ng plants, hindi naman nagtagal sa uh, biyahe sa LBC. So, nakakalungkot na ganun. Although, nag-offer naman sila ng refund, pero ba at the end of the day, gusto mo, pag may dumating na plant meal sa is maganda siya. That's it. Nagmamadali ako kasi super, this is just a super short video. So, again, I highly recommend Plant Culture and the Leaflet Project. Um, thank you for watching my vlog today and if you like my video, please don't forget to um, like and subscribe on my YouTube channel and if you want quick tips, short tips, or if you want to see my plant sale, uh, please don't forget to like and follow my Facebook or Instagram page. It's The Greedy Leader. So, thank you so much and I'll see you again on my next video. Bye!